Hello, Phi Theta Kappa Upsilon Delta Chapter mem members. Video 3 is going to pick up where we left off on the current events database of the library. I really think you're going to find some information you've been looking for under Facts on File, and I felt I would be remiss if I did not go back and specifically talk about America's News. So at this point, you already know that you go to the Southwest main webpage, forward slash library, from the library's main page, you click on the databases link. If you'll go down to the current events database, video two talked about these last three resources. This time we're going to focus on Facts on File, World News Digest. We are investigating transformations, assessing and acknowledging and achieving change. We are looking at that through the lens of the politics of identity, where we focus on otherness. Our chapter is focusing on immigration. In one of our leadership team meetings, we started to ask questions about statistics and what are the actual numbers related to you know, various questions that we were asking. So, this database may provide a good resource for that. Of course, always look at hot topics and things going on there, but I'm going to click on Facts and Statistics. Now, there you can often Google and get numbers and statistics, but we do want to make sure that we're looking at, uh, you know, uh, scholarly resources uh, to make sure that we're verifying our facts. So many different, you know, this is all under facts and statistics, but there are a lot of categories that we could dive into that might bring us insights into some of our discussions, depending on the specific area that you're talking about, in writing about, I should say, in your honors case study. I'm going to click on international statistics. Now, one thing that sometimes causes conflicts when we talk about us versus them, and that goes to that concept of otherness, who is the other, um, can be population growth. Are there too many people? Are people taking our jobs? Are people drinking all our, or not drink, taking all of our water? Are people taking our food, our land? And that sometimes is rooted in population growth. So you may want to explore this. Look at the trend line there. Isn't that interesting? Now, the United Nations is a good source for information. It does say that this is from 2017. So for your honors case study, this is before January 1st. And so it, it would not, uh, you could not use this. It's also not from a newspaper, but it still may inform you. And notice it says the UN put the world population in mid-2017 at nearly 7.6 billion. It projects the population will reach 8 billion by 2023. So, you know, it expects nine countries will account for half the increase in the world population. So as you look at those countries, what does that mean to the U.S.? What does that mean to immigration? This could be an area you focus on. I'm going to go back. That was world population. Um, we could look at, you know, all of these are interesting area of population so that you could start to drill down. One that I thought was um, interesting, let me find it, refugees. Now notice this data is 2006 uh, to 2016. This may be the last time there was a census of this uh, data taken uh, and people in refugee-like situations. Well, either one of these, this now catches my eye. See, sometimes it's the book next to the one that you were looking for. So if you're a refugee, that is a, an area of immigration. So, you know, let's look at those populations. What does this mean to the U.S.? What type of policy do you think is fair if you are researching immigration? You know, look at that from the United Kingdom. So these might be sources of statistics and I'm going to let you read and research these. I'm just trying to show you things that are available. Look at this. Refugees are persons recognized under the 1951 UN Ref Refugee Convention. Those recognized 
are persons granted or receiving protection, persons outside of their country or territory of origin who face protection risks. You know, somebody is threatening their life. Okay, um, so that is a, an interesting one. Um, tax rates by selected country. Uh, that is also often an interesting thing to compare to, with immigration and people's feelings about, uh, you know, unemployment. How does that? So lots of statistics here. They do tend to get a little, well, not always, but a little older as you look through the list. So uh, be careful of that, but you may find current articles talking about updates of that. So I wanted to point out those statistics. Um, lots of, of, you know, rich resources and, and um, you know, things to investigate. Okay, I'm going to close that. Again, my goal is just to make you aware uh, of things. I know you may have technical questions. Can I do this? Can I do that? If you don't initially see it, ask the librarian. They can help you. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. You know, I'm almost glad this happened because this is a great example of what you can run into sometimes. And notice that it, it looks scary. Oh, this looks so scary. Um, it, it's just wanting me to understand that it's not secure, that, you know, maybe somebody could see the information. Uh, I'm going to click on Advanced here, and I'm going to tell it to proceed anyway. Different browsers may express this in a different way. So whatever you have to do, to, sometimes you can click on that and choose unblock, you know, or designate it as safe, and then it will let me continue on. Okay, so this news bank provides a comprehensive collection of reliable news sources covering a wide array of topics and issues. What a great resource. This is why I just could not skip it. Um, oh, I guess I've typed that before. How about immigration and the Memphis economy? We could search on anything, and you know to scroll the page to look at what's hot right now in the news. Here it goes. Okay, so let's see, what do we have going on here? Um, oh, how about that? Some issues that state leaders need to address. Top issues for Tennessee candidates. Um, what they're, and look at that. You know, I showed you in, a, in video two that you could search the Tennessean in particular, and you see that the, these are from the Tennessean. As a reminder, the Tennessean is the Nashville newspaper, since our state government uh, is located in Nashville then this oftentimes has state news like this. So these might be great things to um, address. Editorials are, are great sources to help you look where to dig further. And these are very, very current um, articles. So let's see, what are some issues that state leaders need to address? We have looked at the Tennessean um, previously, but Okay, so you may, you know, look at here's your citation information. Make sure you, you know, save that someplace. Here are some topics for candidates to consider. Our leaders need to ensure that Tennessee's economy stays strong. Oh, certainly, right? Things about agriculture, 87 Tennessee, 95 countries have auto opera. Okay, um, so you may want to search this page. Okay, well, immigration was identified. If you do a control F, it'll bring up that search box to find, and then you look, you find on the page. So while immigration was identified as the top concern for uh, Americans in the Gallup poll, it is worth reminding candidates that foreign-born residents make up to 5% of the state's population. So that is a great statistic that you may want to include in your writing. And, and there's two statistics here. Really, they're saying that that is a top concern based on a Gallup poll. Um, they're also giving you this statistic that it's 5% of the state's population. So, you know, this, this might be something that you can um, cite or, or, you know, uh, paraphrase or refer to in your, um, in your honors case study challenge and could support our honors in action. Uh, investigation. So again, very quickly, I just wanted to let you uh, know of these two resources that may be very helpful for you. So this is uh, video number three, and I was hoping to keep it short and sweet. And so thank you very much.